Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing another Shop My Stash for the month of August. I have already put everything back that I used for the month of July. Um, I can go ahead and show you guys what I did use and um, what I didn't like and what I did like. So yes, let's just get into picking out things for the month of August here. I am wanting to kind of get into the fall spirit, but I don't know, I'm not really sure yet because it's still considered summer. So I still wanna do that summer fresh look. And two things that I want to definitely take out are cream blushes. I have been using the two Ulta Beauty Stay Cheeky Look at Blush and this one is in Dusty Pink and Preppy Peach. I want to put these back because I want to use these two instead. And these are by Flower Beauty and these are their blush bombs. And I'm sure all of you guys have seen these before. I have it in Nectar and Pinched. So I just mix both of them together and then I just apply it onto my cheeks. So I am going to take these two out. I have already picked out two face palettes to use for the month of August. This one is by BH Cosmetics. This one is Vanilla, Vanilla Cream Truffle. And this one's more of a neutral tone um, blush palette. And then I took out the Sigma Corderosa palette. And I bought this last year when it was on sale. So I definitely want to put some use into it. All right, so two blush palettes. And then, let's see. I don't think I wanna take out anything else um, just because I definitely wanna use those palettes. Back here, I have my blush, my bronzers. I'm sure you guys have seen it before. And last month I was using, let's see, I took out these two, the Revlon Skin Lights, and I have not been using this, so I really wanna take keep this out. And this one is in Sunlight Glow. And then I have my Soul Body Cream Bronzer. Honestly, I have not used it because I've been using my e.l.f. one and here's the e.l.f. one. And this one is in Tan Lines. I've been using this one because obviously I love it and I can't seem to get away from it. So I'm going to put it away so I don't see it so I can start using my Soleil one. And this one is in Light. So keeping that out and then I need a powder bronzer. I am going to go into my City Bronzer by Maybelline and this one is in 100, doesn't have a name. So this kind of light for me but I think I'm going to try building it up to see if I can make it work. Alright so I have bronzers and blushes. Let's get into the next category. All right, so for lippies, I kind of want to take out something a little bit darker for the fall time that's approaching soon here, um, but I don't want to do too vampy. I kind of just want to get something that's moving into the berry tones. I have this one by ColourPop, and it looks kind of dark so let's see okay it's like a darker pink so I'm gonna leave this one out for me to use and then I just recently picked up these two they are the Maybelline New York Superstay vinyl ink and I heard great things about them. I've been using the peachy one. I have not used this one yet. This one's in Dainty. And 
Okay, this one's more kind of the same color, except the color pop one is a little bit more sheer. So I am going to keep this one out as well. Okay, so I have two darker colors. Let's go with my nudes, because you guys know I love my nudes. Let's take out... Let's take out my no, my Patrick Ta, and I think this one is a lip cream. I have this one in She Secure. Let's see here. Okay, so this is a pretty much a very light peachy nude color. Take that one out. And should we do another one? Let's see here. I kind of want to use something that I have not used in a long time. So let's use this one. This one is by Too Faced. And this one is in Sell Out. Guys, I used to love this liquid lip. And this one would stay in my purse. Like it was my perfect nude. Of all time and I just stopped using it because I have so much more that I need to use so I've been switching it out um, so there you go I have four lippies okay guys and so this is pretty much my highlighter drawer I do have some palettes back here because I don't have any place to put them so they are staying there for right now um, for highlighters I have been using my uh, Laura Mercier translucent powder and this one's the one with the sheen in it I've been using this every time I use highlight. Well every time I want a highlighter I've been using this and it's very sheer. It's not It's subtle. It's not like your Blinding highlight. This is very subtle. So I have been gravitating towards this and then um, I did take out my MAC Hyper Real Glow and I don't have a name on here, but I think I did take this one out and I am putting it back in because I want to use something else. Um, this one I took out last month and I'm going to put that back. And I also took out this one last month. This is the Dose of Colors in Frago. I want to use something else. Let's use something that I have not used in a long time, like this one. My Maybelline Master Chrome Highlight in Molten Pure Gold. And again, like these packaging, I swear they always break on me, but the product is very good, so I'm going to take this one out to use. And let's see, I have, so far I have two, and I think two is pretty good for me. Um, I'm just not a highlighted girl anymore, honestly. <laughs> I used to love highlights, and I used to have a lot more, and I have gotten rid of a lot of them. Okay, so. so let me show you guys the palettes that I am going to be using for the month of August. This one I have been using last month, and I honestly love it, guys. This definitely matches my skin tone a lot. I have been using these four down up here, so these two here, and then honestly these three. In this column for just a matte look I've been gravitating towards matte looks lately and if I want if I wanted something different then I would just put sweet much in the center and yeah definitely love this palette but I am going to put it away because I need to use other things I took out my California love palette to use for the month of August um, just to get into the fall spirit, I think for me, like, fall is, like, the grungy looks. So, 
I am taking this one out so I can achieve that look. And then I took out my Sweet Talk palette. Um, kind of reminds me of fall, so that's why, again, it's ugly because my son got into it. And yeah, the last palette that I took out is my Tati Beauty palette. And it looks barely used because I honestly did not use it. So I am going to use it this month. Alright, so that's everything basically. Um, I kind of want to show you guys what I have been using for the month of July. My moisturizer, I've been using my e.l.f. Skin Holy Hydration Face Cream. Um, if you watched my last video, I was using the purple one. That is finished now. I still very much love it. I might pick up another one after this one is done. But here's how this one looks. And this one's much more creamier than the other one. And it really is just a personal preference thing. Not saying this one I don't like. I feel like I need to use it a little bit more. I think I only use this like maybe for a week. Um, not saying I don't like it. I do like it, but I do prefer the other one. And then for SPF, I'm still using my Tree sunscreen hyaluronic acid definitely love this guys pick it up it's so good i think it's only like 23 dollars on amazon and it's a korean brand for foundation i am still using my wet n wild soft beige light medium foundation um but on days that i just want something very subtle I mean, the Wet Wild one is already subtle enough, but this one is just more of a sheer foundation. This is a skin tint, and this is by Makeup Revolution. It comes with a pump, obviously. Very sheer, so if you want some type of coverage, you might not like this one. This one, I only use it just to even out my skin tone. And then I use my e.l.f. powder. Guys, I love this thing. I cannot believe that I just started using this and I've had it in my collection for a very long time. This one is in Light 280N and this is the Cameo Foundation. Love. Definitely pick it up if you can. It's so good. I might get a darker one so I can use it as a um, bronzer, but who knows. Again, these two are a very good combo, uh, very light. This one I barely have to use a lot because again, it's high coverage. So I just sweep it with my brush lightly and then I just tap it on my skin and then it just gives me the coverage that I need. So very good combination. And yeah, I think that is it guys. Um, yeah, that is it for the month of August and I hope you guys liked it. I am thinking about doing like a haul video. I kind of want to go look for some new fall lippies because I decluttered most of my lipsticks because they were old. So I kind of want to do that and I want to do like a shop with me and then come back home and try it on for you guys. So yeah, if you guys definitely want to see that, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.